So in this tech tip, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make your own big sub base that will fit underneath uh, base patches and leads. So we'll start by using the synthesizer Anna 2 and we'll make one sign layer, simple sign layer to go underneath those leads and then we'll create a extra saturated distorted layer to really fill up more space. So let's try that out. Now that we have our sounds made and our basic pattern kind of together, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new MIDI track so that we can go ahead and start making our sub bass out of Anna. So let me find it here, there we go. All right, so we're gonna try and just follow our synths a little bit, but first off, we're just gonna make our sub here. So let's open the MIDI track. I believe we're in F, right? Let's go back here. Yeah, we're in F, so back to Anna. Close this and we're gonna, so we have our first bass hit here. Turn this off for a second. So to me it feels like we have a bass on one and then we have a long bass and then on this one we're just gonna delay it behind the beat a little bit just for that groove that we have in our synths there. So let's get it right on, yep. So it's lined up. And I always end it just a little bit early. We'll see how it sounds. But it seems like this one wants to be a little bit shorter just based on how our synth grooves, so. And currently Anna is just playing the preset that we have in there. And I'll just make that one a full note for now. All right, so we're gonna switch Anna 2 into an initial preset. And we're gonna open up here. And we could just choose a normal sign, which would be fine. But I'm gonna choose one that's just slightly off. So it just has a little bit more curve to it. It'll add a little bit more of a thicker tone, I find anyways. So let's hear that. So I'm gonna throw it down. And one more octave. I'm just gonna add an EQ on top of it. Check back the sign. Cool. So now let's listen to that real quick. All right, I'm gonna just change this up a little bit. Oops. Right there. Kinda just feels like if I follow these little plucky things as well, just a little bit, it's gonna groove a lot nicer too. So let's take this and copy it over here. So now we've got This one's gonna want to be behind the beat a little bit too, just like our other ones. So right about 
off here. And I'll end that just a little bit early. All right, so now I'm gonna duplicate it, turn this off, and I'm actually just gonna freeze this base and flatten it to audio. And then I'm gonna duplicate this and make a whole other sub here. So this layer is gonna be a little bit more of the punch. So I'm gonna open our G envelope. And I'm gonna draw this in like this, just to get a little more of that like thump with the sub base. So we're gonna go into mod. And oscillator one, pitch course. Oh yeah, forgot to hit retrig, there we go. So now I gotta put this back down. Go back to our mod and turn this to volume all. We're gonna wanna lighten that up a little bit. So now I'm just gonna pull this back. Do that 170. I'm gonna cut off the bottom end. So now that when we hear these together. give some punch. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit more. I'm going to EQ this and cut it down to about 170 as well. So now let's listen to it. So what I'm going to do here is get my fade tool out. Oops. And this one, to me, I'm going to put on to complex. And I'm going to pull the pitch. And I'm going to take this punch off right here. I'm going to get rid of these and copy this over. And now what I'm going to do is actually make a second layer. Cut this out. I'm gonna cut out where the main bases are and just process this layer right here. So I'm gonna do some weird stuff right now. <laughs> Take that off. And this is a saturating, saturator trick that I had before. 
So I'm going to, where is it? Erosion. Turn this one down and hear what they sound like. So now all together. So let's hear it now all together. Chop out these ones here. And copy that over. I'm gonna take these and just group them together and that will pretty much be our sub bass. And you can pretty much play with those techniques anyway. I just kind of lined it up where I wanted the main basses to kind of go with the distorted buzz. And then that little triplet thing there can just be its own sub without the distortion. I might actually try and tighten these up. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's try this real quick. Alright, so cut this out. And let's just try this for fun. Kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, I'll copy that over. And I'm actually going to cut this off with the synth here. All right, let's try that now. All 
I'm just gonna fade every little part. All right. So let's take this, toss it over, and now we've got, yeah, this is where the sub bass is finally done. All right, so, so now that we're done synthesizing and processing our sub bass, we're gonna go ahead in the next video and look at multiband sidechain using the plugin Volume Shaper, and then we'll use some stock plugins to make our own multiband sidechain within Ableton itself. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.